Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. C Chronicles is my name and I go by that name on all my social media platforms. I'm also active on Instagram. If you want to follow me there, I would appreciate that as well. Now on this particular channel, what we do is mostly fragrance reviews, fashion and lifestyle videos. We post about four to five times a week, mostly fragrance reviews and then throw in random content from time to time. Uh, so if you're new here and it sounds like something that, you know, ticks your boxes, please do consider joining this family by subscribing and to those who are returning thank you so much guys for the continued support i see you mostly in the comment section for those who love to comment and uh, i see you obviously by the views and the numbers so thank you so much for supporting this channel well, welcome to a fragrance review today we have bella dulce red delice by fragrance world um i'm pretty sure most of you know that this is the fragrance world logo so how this presentation is is you're going to get a box like this but this is the inner box which you know where the, the perfume sits and then there is an outer cover so when you see this fragrance on a website or anyway it's going to show as you know a fragrance in this white cover because this white cover then slides into the red box so enough said for the presentation guys gorgeous as always i mean uh, middle eastern uh fragrance houses don't joke when it comes to presentation so this is what we're here to talk about guys the name is pretty long it's bella dulce okay red Delis, and this is by fragrance world um this is the bottle as you can see it's got a crumb catcher here i don't know what that is for when i purchased it i thought this what i'm calling a crumb catcher this particular part i thought was you know gonna be like where you press and then the fragrance comes out but unfortunately not it's just for deco so this lid comes you know completely off of course with that uh yeah this leaf kind of effect and it's just for deco purposes i'm gonna spray this one on my arm as usual and uh, then we are gonna get into it so for those who want to see the atomizer this is how the atomizer sprays it gives off like a big bubble of mist there not a problem it doesn't bother me considering the price now i couldn't get the notes for this fragrance but what i get offset is a bubble of berries like tons of mixed berries i do get raspberry i do get uh, blackberry that sort of thing but it doesn't come across as an outright raspberry or just an outright uh, blackberry it comes off as a presentation of this big ball of berries so that is what you're going to get offset and that is the scent bubble i am in there is also a citrusy feel here but the citrusiness here is uh, you know toned down i wouldn't call this a citrus fragrance and then there is something that feels like an apple like a realistic big red apple if you know what i mean um some sugar there it is a sweet scent and some vanilla so that is you know where i'm gonna cap it when it comes to notes because i don't have the notes for this fragrance what i've just said is universally what a lot of people are gonna you know smell when it comes to this fragrance bella dulce uh red Dilly. so in a nutshell i am gonna say this is a presentation that is sweet it's jammy it's candy forward you know for some it's going to immediately remind them of opening like a packet of jelly babies or when you taste a jelly baby immediately like a raspberry jelly baby you know it comes across as very candy forward very youthful bright effervescent scent if you will and a summary but of course you can wear what you want whatever season now 10 20 minutes into this fragrance you know keeping the berries we're not gonna lose the berries this is an obvious berry forward scent emerges like a big red apple now imagine an, an apple a ripe apple but hard you know not a like a soft apple that is going bad ripe apple imagine that biting into the peel of that apple and you feel that crispness and that smell of the peel is something that then takes over in this fragrance and you you know at that same moment as well there is what feels like a shy citrus like a watered down citrus and a very faint nuance of the rose just to make the you know just to make the concoction in here a bit interesting but it's not the florals or the rose or whatever it is that takes center stage so i wouldn't really class this as a floral this is going to be mostly a fruity than a floral and of course that sugar sweetness uh coming also into the mix with the vanilla this is a fragrance that the first day i got it i, I and i just sprayed 
sprayed it, I just found myself smiling. It was just a happy scent, you know, in a way. I knew this is what this was going to be a fragrance that I, I was going to reach out for. This kind of scent profile, guys, because it always falls on the synthetic side. I mean, if it's fruits, 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 and more fruits, there's always that, uh, you know, feel that a lot of people are going to get a synthetic feel from this fragrance. Unfortunately, that is what it's, you know, it, it comes across as it does have a syntheticness, you know, to it there. But as for the pluses, this fragrance smells a lot like Eden Juicy Apple by Keali. So if you were one of those people that wanted to know what that fragrance smells like, then this is definitely a, you know, a good stepping stone into testing what that actual fragrance smells about. And as a plus, I'm going to say in as much as I'm going to do a side by side comparison between Eden Juicy Apple and this one for those who, you know, want to know, um, this to me in a way captures the apple perfectly. I just got this fragrance, you know, it's been in movement movement and stuff like that and I would have thought this is going to disintegrate and you know be one of those fragrances that I may have to let sit for a little while but uh just trying it like this in as much as it still hasn't macerated fully I can say it does interpret the apple and the berries a lot better than I felt when I received my Eden Juicy Apple so if that's a plus then definitely one to go for and the price point versus the quality for the Fragrance World fragrances uh if you if you know th this is the logo okay for Fragrance World so if you see these fragrances with this logo that is fragrance world the price point for the fragrance world fragrances is well worth it if you want to purchase because you want to have a feel of an original fragrance what it feels like uh, the quality and the performance is not bad this fragrance in particular i'm going to say you may have to re reapply after four to five hours it just is what it is I personally don't mind because, of course, the price, you know, uh, for me, it's 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 not a fragrance that I would want to savor and all that because the price point is OK. So four or five hours in, it is a fragrance that you may need to reapply. I tried dousing myself with this fragrance, but it still uh, became sort of like an uh, intimate uh, fragrance. By that, I mean, it was, I would say, just a meter around myself. I could smell that and people who came close to me would probably smell it but it's not a fragrance that takes over the moment so if you're a person who works with others you know in an office this is a fragrance that's most likely going not going to bother anybody it is you know just a nice juicy yumminess that is going to follow you and that distinct apple and, and that mixture of those berries uh, a con for this is some people may find it juvenile because it does have that happy you know youthful feel about it this is not a fragrance i would say if you are gifting maybe uh uh, an older female you know you could just go ahead and pick it up and say i'm gonna you know give them this this is a profile that they may find as something that suits somebody in their teens something that suits somebody in their early 20s but then again uh, if, if if it is a person who is youthful at heart they probably won't you know find that uh, problematic at all and i just had to say that just because maybe some of you guys are looking for mother's day fragrances there and stuff like that i'm gonna say no this one comes across as very youthful and to an extent some people might find it you know as, as as very juvenile if you will but yeah it's it's not bad it's not a bad presentation at all i'm gonna do a side by side comparison you know after maybe two weeks or so where i'm just gonna i'm just gonna let it sit a little and then do a side by side comparison if i can uh of this one and the keali one and then you can make a choice uh because i do remember when i did the eden juicy apple um fragrance review i did have a couple of people that wanted to to know if there was a dupe for that and yeah i can say you know almost uh definitely this one nails it to the t so yeah that is what to expect guys this is what we had today bella dosi red delis by fragrance world beautiful presentation i don't particularly care for this um i don't know i mean it's it's not useful as anything really because this is just you know this is just how it is this it's it to me it's not useful as anything but i guess you know for those people who like their bottles extra extra maybe it's gonna work uh, if you were like me who thought this is gonna be the sprayer unfortunately it's not c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today let's meet in the comment section where we obviously discuss more about fragrances uh, for those who want a review of the blue one I currently don't have it in my collection but I will try to get my hands on the blue one because there is a blue one and I kind of suspect that that could be a Versace one a Versace um, 
Dylan Blue do, but that's just a guess. I'm going to know when I purchase it, but these this one twins with a blue one and it's going to come on this channel. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I hope you have subscribed. If you haven't, please do consider subscribing. I'd appreciate you becoming part of the family. Turn on post notifications as well. That way you get to be notified anytime I upload a video. Like and share this video. And remember, guys, that smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.